BC here. Hi guys and gals. Or I should rather say Bernie here in this case. Because I'll be talking about my dad a little bit. I'm walking along. Uh, it's called the Mardike Walk, I guess it is. Uh, in Cork. And uh, why am I doing this? <laughs> well, some of you know through Facebook. Uh, others not that... Uh, my dad passed away last Friday and uh, eh, I just couldn't get into to vlogging uh, for, the, for the weekend. I did have some time with friends yesterday where we were a bit silly and it helped. It helped. It helped a lot. You know there's ups and downs when you're grieving and uh, I thought, you know, I was thinking about that and I was saying uh, We've been expecting it for a while, and it's not maybe the shock as if it had been a surprise, a total surprise there, but it's a shock anyway, you know, it hurts. Um, where I've kind of gotten used to it though, there's a, uh, where I've kind of gotten used to it over the, over the time is that uh, since my dad had been in the seniors residence now for a few years, I'd get in, uh, out of, in a way out of touch. Uh, I say in a way because my mom would tell me every day uh, what was going on with him pretty much every day. But uh, I didn't see him as much. I mean, when I, before he was in the senior's residence, I would chat with, with the, the parents on Skype. But dad would be there and he'd be in and out, you know, of the, of the video. So I'd still at least physically see him. Which of course made it uh, by being uh, where he was now, it seemed a lot less. We were very blessed that uh, my uh, nephew, he's kind of tech savvy, and uh, he organized um, a Skype, well, it was a, it was a Facebook messenger, but it doesn't matter. It was a video conferencing thing in the, my dad's room on the day where the, the residents thought he was probably going to leave us and they told the family to come over quickly. So he organized it that way so that we actually spent several hours of one night last week uh, with him, managed to actually talk to him. He couldn't talk anymore, but uh, my message to him, I tried to make a message of hope in the sense is that knowing that he would be not only soon meeting up with loved ones, but he'd be healed. Uh, he'd been burdened with Parkinson's disease now for for several years, actually several decades. He had it in his early, mid-60s actually. And as he was in his 87th year, you know, that was at least 20 years where he progressively uh, got worse. So I really wanted to push to him that in a way he was going on literally and physically to, to a better place. Uh, he would be healed, he would see loved ones that he missed and that is something that I do have uh, in that respect um, a Christian hope that it was and will be true for him. Uh, in his simple, almost childlike way of belief, I would say, but it was clearly there. Another thing, I mean, I think about uh, about my dad, being a man who all his life basically um, fought to get through things. Um, he had a very difficult birth, difficult schooling, and I mean fit difficult in many ways. One was just the physical barriers of getting to school. We don't realize that in today's day and age, how difficult it was in the 30s if you didn't live close to a school. Um, did trades. Uh, clearly was a man who had a lot of potential. And I think he suffered that he wasn't able to study but he worked really hard on what he had and that was really really 
impressive. Impressive when I see all the things that he did for us um, with his hands, be it from homemade swimming pools to to snowmobiling. Uh, I was just going to say to to snowmobiling trailers to whatever. I mean, my dad was always making something, making maple syrup for for the family, teaching people how it was done. So he was a very very impressive person in that respect. Now, one thing also that he always told us, and which stayed, is like basically, if you're able to do something, you know, go for it. And uh, I would say that we, we all did. And the thing though about my dad is that he always said that family was the important thing so I mean go for it but don't lose your bearings and in that respect he very much taught us how to be how to be husbands how to be men how to be family men how to be fathers you know he, he, he taught us a lot of that he wasn't a man who had many many friends he had a lot of acquaintances he had a few close friends I think because he kept very much the family and he had seen probably in his life over the years, you know, sometimes when people turn on each other, things like that. There was probably, there's more to it than that, but I won't get into it. But the ones that he had, he was very, very faithful to them, very much so. And he loved coming to visit us uh, in Europe. I mean, that was something for him that was a, a pride, having um, family members in Europe who, in his eyes, I mean, made him proud, but also that he opened up to part of the world which probably he would never have come to otherwise. So he got to see things. He learned actually to know our friends here and became friends with them. I think sometimes at time, there was a period he probably had as many friends in Europe as he did over there. I don't know, but I mean, it was nice. He was a good granddad. Very good granddad. He's an excellent husband. And, you know, there's just so many things that one could say. But uh, I think I'll, I'll keep it at that. I know my dad's in peace. I know actually he's happy and that makes me rejoice actually I can feel sad because he's not there there's ups and downs I mean where I will you know cry but <clears throat> overall I know he definitely is in a better place and he's healed he's healed we haven't found a heal uh, uh, you know we haven't found how to heal Parkinson's disease here but on the other side of the Great Divide, it's healed. And that's where he is now. So, you know, Daddy, rest in peace. I know you are. And, uh, well, I wouldn't go so far as saying I'm looking forward <laughs> to go and meet you. But do you think you, I think you know what I mean. We'll have quite a party when we all get together again. So I love you. Okay, bye-bye.